Hi everyone! Today I'm going to explain everything you need to know about Amazon Web Services Reserved Instances. Specifically, you are going to learn about Standard, Convertible, Scheduled, Regional and Regional Convertible Reserved Instances for the following services. Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2, Relational Database Service or RDS, Redshift, Elastic Cache and DynamoDB. Let's get to it. What is a reserved instance? A reserved instance is simply a type of a discount coupon. That's it. The discount percentage ranges anywhere from 30 to 75 percent depending on the product and the prepayment option. This makes reserved instances one of the main tools to reduce cost. If you want to know more about cost optimization, go and watch my video that I linked here. Amazon calls this discount a billing benefit. Once you purchase a reserved instance, AWS applies the billing benefit automatically to reduce the cost of on-demand. The billing benefit is first applied to the account where the RI was purchased. If consolidated billing is set up, the billing benefit can float to linked accounts. You use AWS organizations to control which accounts are linked. It is technically possible to restrict the billing benefit to the account. However, that would mean that if the account is not using the reserved instance, the billing benefit will be forfeit. What other features do reserved instances have? In addition to the billing benefit, reserved instances either have a capacity reservation or flexibility. A capacity reservation guarantees instance launch in the account where the RI was purchased and it cannot be transferred to other accounts. Flexibility always applies to availability zones and may also apply to instance sizes within a family. In the case of RDS RIs, flexibility also applies to single and multi-AZ deployments. And with consolidated billing, flexibility can float to linked accounts. Here are all the AWS EC2 RI offerings. This table is all you will ever need when making decisions about EC2 RIs for your business. This is also the first time that I have seen the EC2 RI products visualized this way. Let's talk about standard and convertible RIs. Amazon allows you to modify the availability zone, the scope, the network platform or instance size within the same instance family of standard and convertible RIs. You can also split or if the duration matches, merge reserved instances. You can also sell standard RIs on the AWS marketplace, but you cannot sell convertible or regional convertible RIs. Convertible RIs can be exchanged for a new lease of convertible or regional convertible RIs at equal or greater value. This allows you to change the instance family, operating system, tenancy and payment option. However, convertible RIs come at a 15% premium, but convertible RIs benefit from price reductions. What are scheduled reserved instances? Scheduled reserved instances provide a capacity reservation on a reoccurring basis at a specified start time and duration. Availability is limited to schedules AWS makes available. There is a minimum of 1200 hours and the RI term is limited to one year. You cannot cancel, modify or resell scheduled reserved instances. Let's talk about regional and regional convertible RIs. These RIs will always flex across 
availability zones. On the Linux slash Unix platform and in default tenancy, these RIs will also flex in size within the instance family. This means that AWS will automatically apply RIs regardless of zone and size to reduce your on-demand cost. This also means that you can have multiple RIs covering a single on-demand instance and that you can have partial coverage. Like with standard RIs, the billing benefit may float to other accounts with consolidated billing. By the way, did you notice that there is a gap in the EC2 offering matrix? When I see something like this, I predict that Amazon is going to eventually release a product offering in this area. What services offer reserved instances? AWS offers reserved instances via the AWS API for the following services. Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2, Relational Database Service or RDS, Redshift, Elastic Cache and DynamoDB. What exceptions exist for these services? All reserved instances except for EC2 do not support capacity reservations and they also do not support modifications. I mentioned earlier that RDS RIs size flex within an instance family as well as single and multi-AZ deployments for MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL, Amazon Aurora and bring your own license or BYOL Oracle database engines. Redshift and Elastic Cache RIs currently do not support size flexibility. Instead of reserved instances, DynamoDB offers reserved capacity for provisioned read and write throughput. Unfortunately, there is currently no API to show what you purchased for DynamoDB. Let's take a quick look at EC2 create instance errors. There are two possible errors that are outside of your control when you are launching an EC2 instance. Instance limit exceeded and insufficient instance capacity. If you get an instance limit exceeded error, contact AWS support to increase your EC2 instance limit. If you get an insufficient instance capacity error, either try again or purchase EC2 reserved instances that have a capacity guarantee. Before we finish, let's talk about consolidated billing. Consolidated billing allows customers to designate one of their accounts as the payer account. This will combine charges for multiple accounts under one account, which in turn will help you to qualify for volume discounts. Consolidated billing is free and I highly encourage customers to take advantage of it. You use AWS organizations to control which accounts are linked to the payer account. Thanks for watching. You can ask me anything on Twitter, via email or in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe. It is a good way to provide feedback and show your support. Thanks again. Bye.